Hi, my name's Adam from Ascent Home Theatre Systems and in this video I'm going to talk about audio cables. There are a few different types around and you should be aware of which one does what. I'm going to start with two analogue variations. First of all, the trusty old RCA cable. You'll remember these from, well let's see, record players, remember them, uh, cassette decks, the whole lot. This is a very common standard and is still in use sometimes today. It's an analog signal uh, and it will produce stereo sound, left and right. Simply plug the white cable into the white port and the red cable into the red port. The next one I'm going to look at is the 3.5mm headphone jack. Now these are still very, very common. You connect your mobile phones, for example, to an amp or a receiver. Uh, you can also connect MP3 players if you still use them. And of course, trusty headphones themselves. It is an analog signal and it will produce a stereo output left and right. Moving on to digital, let's start with coaxial cable. Quite rare these days, you don't come across them very often. It's a single RCA plug that is used to connect devices. Probably more common with older DVD players and maybe some of the older Blu-ray players. It is digital and will provide a 5.1 surround sound for your listening pleasure. Moving on from that is the optical cable, SPDIF, S-P-D-I-F. This takes or transmits an optical signal. So the device that you plug into converts an electrical signal into light. It is transmitted down the line and into the receiver. The receiver then obviously reverses that process and creates the sound. Now, it is digital and it will produce a good quality 5.1 surround sound audio that you can listen to. A lot of receivers still have that. In fact, some TVs still have it these days as well. So quite a common device. But the one that we all use these days, more often than not, is the HDMI cable. Not only will this do video, but it will also do audio. And the great thing about HDMI cables is it will process and transmit lossless audio. That's your Dolby high definition audio and also your TrueMaster HD sound. What that means is that it is truly lossless and so your Blu-ray players and Blu-ray videos will carry that signal through this cable. All of the others it will downsample. So there you have it, audio cables. The trusty analog cable, just like this, which we've used for decades, all the way up to the now standard HDMI cable, which is used to connect just about every device because it does everything. If you have any questions, please ask us in the comments below and we will answer you as soon as we can. We hope you've enjoyed this video.